This is Akashvani Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to the former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi on his death anniversary yesterday. Congress President Mallikarjun Karge, Congress Parliamentary Party Leader Sonia Gandhi, and former Congress President Rahul Gandhi paid floral tributes to former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi at Veer Bhumi in New Delhi. Anti-Terrorism Day was observed across the nation yesterday. Former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated on May 21, 1991 by a suicide bomber of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam at Sri Perumbudur, a village near Chennai. The day was observed to educate people about the negative impact of terrorism and violence on society and the nation. In Manipur, the state government has filed an FIR against the Kuki Militant Group, Kuki National Front Military Council, for renaming and turning a sacred hill into its camp. The case has been filed after a photograph in which the militant group put up a signboard at the foothill of Thangjingching, located in Bishnupur district, calling the place as Kuki Army Camp. The Thangjingching is a sacred and pilgrimage site for the followers of Sanamahism religion belonging to the Meite community. The State Land Resource Department said that the Thangjing Hill Range comes under Churachandpur Khopum Protected Forest Areas and the hill is protected site under Manipur Ancient and Historical Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act 1976. By renaming the hill as Thangting and Camp of Kuki National Front Military Council, the group violated the provision of the Manipur Names and Places Act 2024 and the Manipur Ancient and Historical Monuments and Archaeological Sites of Remains Act 1976. In Manipur, some unidentified miscreants looted around rupees 30,000 from the State Bank of India branch located in Jiribam. The incident came to light yesterday morning when the bank staff found the, clock, found the lock of the strong room was broken and took away rupees 30,500 from there. According to the police, the video footage of CCTV installed in the bank branch has captured some miscreants entering the office through the upper floor window around 9.30 p.m. Monday night. They remained in the bank office till 4 a.m. this morning and looted the cash after the lock of the strong room was broken. The police registered an FIR and investigation is going on. In a bid to reduce e-waste, the Meghalaya State Pollution Control Board, in collaboration with Haladek Recycling Private Limited, launched the e-waste bin. The initiative aims to encourage stakeholders and everyone else to use them to dispose of their e-waste, which includes old grinders and mixers, desktop and computer parts, chargers, batteries, among other things that are no longer useful to households. Improper disposal of these items can harm the environment and human beings as some substances contain carcinogens. The e-waste bin will first be placed in the MSPCB office, following which Haladek aims to install 50 bins across the state, as informed by Nandan Mall, founder and managing director of Haladek. Mikhalaya's anti-narcotic task force, team headed by additional East Jaintia Hill Superintendent along with officers and personnel of Lumshtang Police Station detained a Tata Sumo proceeding from Selchara Sam. During the checking, 58 soap boxes of heroin weighing around 609 grams were recovered. The market value of the seized heroin is 5.5 crore rupees. One person has been detained. Drug trafficker detained a resident of Madan Rathik in Shillong. In addition, one Tata Sumo and one mobile phone have also been seized in presence of independent witnesses. An NDPS case has been taken up in this regard for further necessary action. In view of the notice received that there is an unauthorized closure of Umdu to Zero Point Road by the CM of Sora, which resulted in the closure of export through Bajai Land Customs Station, the District Magistrate East Khasi Hills District in an order issued on 20th May 2024 has informed that export through the Majai Land Customs Station should be resumed immediately. The order also stated that any violation thereof shall be strictly dealt with as per legal provisions. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akash Shillong. Have a nice day.